You spent time and money to get more landscaping or lawn care leads, but there's just one problem. You're not actually selling enough of this work. Maybe your closing rate is only at 25, 15, or even a measly 5%. That's a lot of wasted time and money on lawn care and landscaping leads. Well, today you're in luck because I'm gonna share seven of the most common reasons landscaping and lawn care companies waste money on leads and give you some tips to fix them. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up? It's Chad with Landscape Leadership. We help dozens of lawn care and landscaping companies generate leads and also turn more of those leads into paying customers. Over the past 20 years that I've been in the green industry, I've had a front row seat to watching leads get wasted. Also, now in the role that I'm in, I get to have an inside look into a bunch of companies and understand the reasons that they could be wasting landscaping or lawn care leads. It all boils down to about seven reasons. The first reason is this, unqualified prospects. If you've ever seen this classic cult film centered around a sales team called Glengarry Glen Ross, you've probably heard this line, which was an excuse offered up by one of the underperforming salespeople. The leads are weak. The leads are weak. You're weak. Now, I'm not suggesting that you're selling crappy real estate to people that don't even want it to begin with. These people that are landing on your website filling out forms have had some sort of legitimate interest. Your job, no matter how strong these leads are, is to make them stronger. Now, some people will land on your website and fill out a form with very little research. But the majority of people landing on your lawn care landscaping website are doing a little bit more research and they're browsing around throughout your website. How is your website qualifying your sales lead? Can they get an idea of cost or are you offering up pricing in some manner? There are a number of ways you can do this on your website. Check out the description of this video for a link to a webinar I gave on offering price guidance on landscaping and lawn care websites. What true value have you given to your prospect in this early stage of their buyer experience? Can you easily provide deeper resources to help them compare their options? Also, is it easy for your prospect to understand how you've helped customers in the past? Are there image galleries of completed projects on your website and how easy is it for your prospect to navigate through them? Does your website feature your stellar Google reviews? Or do you have testimonial videos that they can watch before or after they fill out this form on your website? Another big problem, limited availability. One of the saddest things that I've heard for a number of years is that in order to win in the green industry, all you gotta do is call people back or get back to them. Now, while this may be true and a little bit pathetic, the bar is really low. And that doesn't mean you're necessarily going to win because one of your competitors is probably going to be a little bit quicker than you. So consider your availability. I have clients that have people, processes, and technology in place that allow them to respond to inquiries for a quote or a consultation at virtually any time of day. In peak times, it could just mean expanding your hours that you're available, or you could even go the route of hiring a virtual assistant. Or you could also use multi-channel communication like texting, live chat, or a very carefully designed chat bot on your website. Another reason you might be wasting leads is poor inquiry follow-up. Now, if you're truly not available, do your best to get back in touch with these leads as soon as possible. I can guarantee you, you're probably not the only company that these people are contacting. They're not gonna be cool with you waiting until you get caught up by noon on Monday while they're busy at work. Whether you and your competitors aren't really available doesn't mean you can't make life easier for your prospect. One of the things that you can do is create a way that they can tell you when the best time is to reach out to them. Consider this. After someone fills out a form on your website, 
off hours, give them an easy way to book a 15-minute phone call for a time that best suits them. You'd be surprised at how many rounds of phone tag this eliminates. And a final note, how many times are you trying to reach back to these prospects and on what types of channels? I've seen a lot of lawn care and landscaping companies waste money on leads because they're just responding one time on their preferred method of communication. Try following up multiple times and use the email and phone and try them at different times of the day. Another problem is you could have the wrong team members involved. Who is responding to these leads? Are they hourly or salaried team members that really don't have any incentive in the sales process? Do you even have enough people ready to do this or are they overwhelmed with calls and emails and other tasks? Consider this, give really great salespeople these leads directly and have them follow up on them as soon as possible. Or if they can't do this, at least incentivize another person to book appointments or connect new leads with a salesperson. Having overworked order takers on your team respond to these leads is not gonna work in the majority of cases. Another big problem could be stagnant salespeople. Regardless of how great you perceive your salespeople to be, they all need oversight and training. This both applies to hard and soft skills with selling. While they need technical information and an understanding of how your solutions work, they also need to continually refine the art of selling. People will often slip into bad habits and it's common for them to not see or hear what they're doing wrong or what they could do better. Observing them, measuring specific activities, and working as a team so everyone gets better is imperative if you want to stop wasting landscaping or lawn care leads. Another thing that could be hurting your chances is inadequate onboarding. Okay, first let's talk about the landscaping and lawn care leads that you've closed and sold. A lot can go wrong between that time and the time they actually become a paying customer. To keep from wasting these landscaping and lawn care leads, you should develop a clear new customer onboarding process. Things like carefully planned automated emails or scheduled outreach over the phone can help them to reaffirm their trust in you and get realistic expectations about timeline and results. And finally, there's a failure to re-engage. Then there's the leads you couldn't close. I've seen lots of lawn care and landscaping companies sitting on hundreds, even thousands of contacts that wanted an estimate from them at one point in time. A no doesn't mean a no forever in a lot of cases. You should have a process, people, and technology involved to get these unclosed lawn care and landscaping leads to re-engage. Create campaigns that actually offer some kind of value to these prospects. I'm not just talking about slinging out your latest promotion. When possible, just offer up some helpful information. You can do this via email, digital advertising, or soft selling campaigns. My point is this, a no can become a yes later if you're still recognized as a valuable resource. So there you have it. Seven reasons you could be wasting landscaping and lawn care leads. I hope I've challenged you in your thinking and are putting you on the path to fixing some of these problems. If you would like more landscaping and lawn care marketing and sales tips, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment. If you found this information to be valuable, please share it with your green industry peers. Here's to closing way more landscaping and lawn care leads. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.